Hey guys, welcome to my final speech uh, about living my best life. I chose to wear one of my favorite shirts. Uh, this is uh, from Futurama. It says, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. And uh, that's a joke that they have about evolution, um, in which the episode's kind of absurd and they, they eventually prove evolution. But I really love it because it's, it's one of many of their anthropological episodes and so i just wanted to share that with you guys uh futurama is on hulu and i recommend giving it a watch just like i always recommend stuff uh so if i only had a million dollars by patrick forbes i would absolutely fly to new york for pizza i know it sounds absolutely ludicrous but this has been a dream of mine like we all have those thoughts in our head of like what would i do if i won the lottery this is hands down the first thing that i would do I would fly to Philadelphia, I would get an actual cheesesteak because I, I'm just curious, you know? I've had friends from the East Coast, they say that nothing really compares to New York pizza or a Philly cheesesteak. So that's the absolute first thing that I would do, uh, which is a little ridiculous, but hey, it's my life, right? Um, and then I would, I would go and travel, um, but I wouldn't travel in the sense that most people do i would go to uh archaeological sites that i've always read about but i've never been able to see um and i would like to spend you know like a week or two weeks at each spot exploring everything about it taking field notes really trying to understand uh this the the, the actual places a little bit better um and just to to have the opportunity to let that that page that's in my head leap out into reality is just i don't know it's just something that i've always wanted to do and that's probably why i want to do what i'm doing um but i would like to show you what i'm talking about so there's the parthenon in athens the great pyramids of egypt i would explore the akagira national park and i'd like to see the roman Colosseum. so I can't show you through my own eyes, but I can show you through others. So this right here, this is the Akujira uh, National Park, and it's not the best photo, but as you can see, it's very voluptuous, lots of forests. This is a preserve in uh, Rwanda that they have really, uh, they've, they've kept the integrity of the site. And it's actually famous for Titus the Gorilla uh, which is the longest field study that has ever been done on gorillas. They, their pack actually lives here. And so to have the opportunity to kind of go and, and see these silverback gorillas with my own eyes, like these guys are larger than life, um, or so I've seen on, on videos. Uh, I would love to see that in real life. Uh, the Parthenon is right up here. And oh my goodness, I mean, just look at this beautiful architecture. Look at these pillars. Look at the the, the uh, dedication that they put over all up in here. And this is just from the outside. Um, from the inside, you actually get to see a lot more intricate carvings, which I just think is awesome. Uh, and this is the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's a total tourist trap, but it's been my dream. I mean, Howard Carter is my hero, so obviously I want to go to Egypt. Obviously, I want to see what he saw um, and kind of explore that. And then uh, the Roman Colosseum has always been something that I've wanted to see with my own eyes. And as you can see, I mean, there's just so much going on here. It's, it's just, it's insane to think about all of these seats packed with people, right? You've got the emperor sitting up here and, uh, you know, to, to, to go in and like put yourself in that moment, I think would just be amazing. Uh, and then... I go back to school because like it, everything like all of that traveling all of that would be so much fun but I, I think without the context of, of sharing that knowledge and, and learning how to share that knowledge it's just meaningless um some people want to be famous some people want to be rich i want to unravel the mysteries of the past and i can't think about anything that would be more interesting to dedicate my life to so thank you guys so much for watching my speech. It's been a pleasure being a part of your class, and I look forward to seeing you guys' speeches. All right, end of the semester.